What do you think, Ziki Boo? Come here. Come here. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Hello. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> well, you want me to open the package? Do you wanna? You wanna open the package? Oh, oh. my neck. <laughs> okay. Ow. My neck hurts. Hello, guys. So, I'm here with my trusty friend, Zeke. Do you just fart? This is chaotic. Okay, anyways. I ignore the fact that I look like a zombie, kind of. I got a massage today, and it's good because... He's, he's sniffing the treats. It's good because... Um, I woke up with like a cricked neck, like I slept wrong. But I got something really exciting that I ordered on Amazon yesterday because, um, yeah, I know you're not supposed to cut towards yourself. I literally work with a knife for a living, so I'm fine. I'm a professional. Um, yesterday, okay back up two days ago I reorganized and put this here and moved my fridge out of the corner so I have my sad little fiddle and my golden pothos I'm probably gonna put a couple more there but I was like and then I have a bunch on my fridge but I was like oh my gosh there's not enough light like I have pretty good light in this room but I was like they need more so I went on Amazon yesterday when I was at work on my break and I bought a light so let's set this up comes with a little remote so that's cool there is a clip don't know what that's for oh I just kind of like looked at a bunch of them and then I wanted one that I ideally wanted one that you would like attach to the wall and was like not super annoyingly big with the light but like I keep saying I'm eventually going to be moving and I just didn't really feel like hanging something up even though me literally like looking for shelves plant shelves but I want cute plant shelves that's the thing anyways so I decided on a light with a tripod and I figured the other thing is like when um, there's no like outside light, this room is very dark. I mean, even right now today, it's like all gloomy. Oh my gosh. It's all gloomy and my room is not very light. I mean, it's not bad, but I like bright, open spaces <laughs> not like dark cavernous and this house is kind of dark and cavernous so there's two versions of this one and this one comes with five different well five different light things that you can move and then there's one that comes with six I just was like six seems like overkill for a corner and then it has this little tripod wait what the heck that's kind of nice though, that it like folds up. Well, that got lost to underneath my bed somewhere, but now let's twist this on. Okay, that feels pretty sturdy. And then you can go like really high or... Oh. Okay, I'm gonna tighten this. Can go how how you need to. That actually might be high enough, but I'll do a tiny bit higher. Okay. That's what we're working with. Let's turn it on. Whoa! So bright. And oh my god. Oh, you know what I need to do? That's not bad. It's actually like kind of cute. Um. I'm probably going to put some more plants around it because that looks really cute. But let's see. You can, like, change the brightness, apparently. 
ますね。Well, so no, oh, I have to take out the plastic. <laughs> Stupid. Okay. That's cool. Um, there's a timer setting. So that's kind of cool. I could do it for four hours, eight hours, 12 hours. It's pretty nice. Let's see. This button right here. Oh, yeah, because you can turn off and just have like one or however many. Yeah, that's nice. I'll probably just use all five because why not? this oh this is like you can do warm tone cool tone all three do, do, do. nice off that's pretty sweet how does that look it looks kind of crowded actually i feel like i need something like a little plant stand right here and then something a little taller this bad boy right here for now that's kind of cute and then until i find a little plant stand cute i like it okay so i wanted to give you an update on my pink light um, I've been using it, I think it's probably been like a week now, and I like it. I like it a lot. I think I am going to get a surge protector because every time I plug it in, it sparks and uh, it feels really warm. So it's like, I don't feel like that thing is very high quality, so I'm going to get another one. But all of the new growth is like coming up like straight, like going for this the light, the sun, and um, yeah, it's looking really good. Uh, they're coming out like very, very good, very golden, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, I think all my plants are doing good. This guy looks really good. I'll probably give him a little drink because um, this like mix that it's in is like way more oh that's very wet it's way more chunky than what I usually use so I like to water it more frequently but yeah looking very good and my fiddle <laughs> has the ribs oh my gosh I'm gonna just hopefully they haven't gotten to here Oh my gosh. But yeah, like, do you see? Just freaking thrips. That's what we're gonna freaking do. Chop it. We're gonna give it a nice... Oh gosh, <laughs> it's freaking thick. <laughs> Man. Sorry, guy. We are not taking any chances with this. Oh my gosh, that is so annoying. I swear, I've chopped this fiddle like three times. That's the third chop that I've done now. Um, first was because the growth was, growth was really bad, and then then it was thrips again. And now it's thrips again. So that's freaking annoying. But maybe I'm just not meant to have a fiddle. But it's come back really nice every single time but that's freaking annoying you know what i'm realizing i didn't put systemic in that dirt soil so maybe i should do that and then let's see i'm just gonna use these real fast to mix it around a tiny bit Give him a good drink. These freaking thrips, man. 
I'm literally at the point where I'm just like, whatever, I don't care, chop it off. <laughs> um, so hopefully these guys have only been like near each other for not that long, like a week tops, but they weren't touching. So I'm hoping that, like I don't see any sad leaves other than this one. But this just looks like crispy. Oh gosh. Yeah, that doesn't look like thrips, but um, no, yeah, I'm just at the point now where I'm like, fuck the thrips, I'm just chopping that off. Okay, so here's how um, one of my uh, newest plants is doing. As you can see, this is the Milano. We're losing some leaves, but there's a new one coming out, and I'm pretty sure, oh, <laughs> that one just fell off, but I'm pretty sure it was just, like, the stress of, boop, <laughs> will this one just fall off too? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just the stress of being in the, oh my god, is that a thrip? No, it's a fluff. But I think it was just the stress of being in the mail, you know? So, um, I potted it up in this jar. I'm going to try and do some, like, I do fine with some plants with no drainage. And I figured I can see the roots as it grows so I can help. But, this is what we're looking like. A pretty, pretty leaf. A new leaf coming in. And three dead ones. <laughs> since we're over here let's do a little update on my plants that I got for my birthday this is the summer glory I lost one leaf but other than that it's looking good um I have not potted it up it's still in its nursery pot but I have this like cute cover pot oh there goes a spider <laughs> this cute cover pot on it okay this is the one that I was really worried about the worst whiskey eye Aurea, um, that was completely floppy when I got it. This leaf feels relatively fine, but yeah, like, as you can see, the leaves are just falling off. Um, I'm gonna keep my eye on it. Also potted in a glass, so I can look at that. Um, this is the, I think, some of them did get a little overwatered, so some of the leaves are sad. Oh gosh, yeah, two, two sad leaves on this one. But other than that, they look pretty good. Um, so it's just getting used to everything. These are in a nice bright spot. So that one's good. This is the Royal Queen. She's doing good. None of her leaves look sad. This one just unfurled all the way, so that's cute. Doing good. And then this one is the Golden Dragon. Sorry, I have a lot of freaking spiders in my room. They're just daddy long legs, so they're not harmless. This leaf is looking a little yellow and sad, but they feel good, so that's good. This one is potted in this little pot that does have drainage. Um, it's the one pot that I put the drainage. Let's see. These are my Tetraspermia uh, cuttings that I always forget about. So I'm gonna give them a little bit of water. But they look cute. This one just put out this leaf. Got a little baby fenestration. This one has a baby fenestration. It's so pretty. They kind of like, they look, okay, they don't really look like it in this lighting. Oh, there's a spider again. Um, They don't really look like it. Oh gosh. I think that's just dust but um they kind of look blue like in my lighting like on camera not so much but in my lighting this looks like a little bit of a blue yeah you really can't see it but in to the naked eye it looks bluish so that's kind of cool um it's been a little bit since i've showed you i think actually i have no clue been a little bit probably since I showed you these props this is my Cebu blue 
these were literally like none of them had leaves they're just like three sticks i threw in the water and they're doing really good so maybe i'll pop those up one day my birkin let's see any leaves showing any variegation no <laughs> but it's okay i don't really care and then this is my brantianum new leaf so cute Cute. and then this is gonna be a new leaf oh gosh this is gonna be a new leaf as well those are doing good okay and then <laughs> this freaking hoya like totally just oh my gosh totally just died like shriveled up got sad like i didn't think i was underwatering it but i guess it just did not survive this was the hoya black margin so that is no more i'm not even gonna try Oop. I'm gonna try and save it because like even the stem just well maybe I'll chop it right here and try and save it but yeah it did not do it very well over here we have my El Chaco Red he's just living his own little life over here it's kind of leaning a little bit so I might actually like repot this guy soon so that he doesn't so he's like more sturdy but yeah he's doing good looking beautiful oh okay we have some new bipanifolium leaves too right here did get a little bit of um i think i think it just got underwatered and then got a little bit shocked and then look over here we have some new squammy look at that So cute new squammy leaves coming out we have one here and two there so that's doing well love that guy um, and then one thing that I did want to do today too I want to chop my mandula oh my gosh look at this leaf like it's so pretty but I think I want to chop it so I can prop it so let's do that Okay, I literally don't know. Oh, okay, that actually would work. Um, I got the new iPhone because um, mine got ran over by a car, <laughs> so I got a new phone. And oh my gosh, this um, it like auto focuses really well. Anyways, um, I don't want to have a good angle to um, film this at other than this. Um, so excuse the double chin. So. <laughs> The funniest angle. I'm just gonna like chop probably like a couple nodes and then just have it grow in water, like water prop it. So I'm just gonna chop it. Scared. Boom. So I got this cutting of my mandula. And so now hopefully it will throw out another it will throw out another growth point for the back and get fuller because I want a big ass pot for this because I love mandula. It's so pretty. But yeah, that was easy. I looked, love the leaf shape. I kind of also want a global green because they have kind of the same leaf shape. But yeah, let's put this in some water. Okay, I'm decided to use this cute glass. That I got bow bet in rice because it has cute little cacti on it. So we're gonna fill that up and we're gonna put some liquid nutrients in there because why not? Just put some drops. And then, so here is the aerial root. Ooh. And we'll just. Put it like that. Boom. Easy peasy. And that's where he's going to be right now. Right next to my cute... Oh gosh. It looks so dried up. Oh, I did forget about watering him. And then yesterday I saw that he was all like roasted over. So I watered him. So I'll be next to that guy and my baby Gloriosum. That's kind of hiding. So yeah. Okay, then also, I have this vodka bottle, ocean vodka. 
I'm matching my nail. Um, and I want to put a cutting in it. And first off, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure I rinsed it out already, but we gotta give it, oh gosh. We'll give it another rinse. Just to be sure that there is no vodka. I mean, there isn't. I just smelled it. There's no vodka. But it's so cute. And like a good blue color. So I want to put cutting in here. But the thing is, like, because it sits at an angle, I can't fill it up all the way. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's not too bad, actually. It can still, it's still pretty cool with water. And it's sitting like that. Think. Oh gosh, now I don't know. I was thinking I wanted to put a squammy cutting. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to show you guys my very good bro marks. I thought I wanted to put a squammy cutting in there, but with the like squammy petiole part, like not do well in water. Oh my gosh, you can see all my acne scars with the, with this camera. I don't know, I'm too scared to take a cutting. Maybe once these new leaves come out, I'll take a cutting. So now let me think about what, what do I want to put in there? Cause I want to put something in there. Also, I need to do something with this. Like this is my giant pubic calyx splash. Like it's so full, such big leaves. And it's climbing up this, but it needs like more, like I kind of want to buy one of those like trellises that go like out that you usually put on like outdoor plants. I kind of want to get one of those so it just can become this massive Hoya thing, like just a bush. But um, yeah, like look at this leaf, it's so cute. Look at this leaf, it's freaking huge. Oh, there's a dead tetrasperma leaf right next to it. But yeah, like it's so pretty, I just want it to be huge. So that's going to be a future project. Okay, I just realized that this Hoya needs water. This is my Hoya Macrophylla. It's really cute. Oops. It's really cute. Huge leaves. And it just keeps growing. It's so cute. Okay, also, look at my new elbow leaf that's coming in. It's still unfurling it's still unfurling but it's got a lot of variegation on it um i don't think it was in enough light when this last leaf came out because it never really got like fully dark like this guy like see the difference between the two so i'm hoping now that it's like closer to light and i have this that it'll be pretty. So eventually I do want to prop this because I only have obviously one stem, but I'm scared. I'm scared. Maybe like let it grow out a little bit more and then chop it. So eventually, but I did decide I'm going to put a bi pen in that ocean bottle, but which one? Cause I know my friend wants a cutting uh, actually, I'm just going to give her one. Uh, she said she wants a buy pen, but... So, I think I'm just going to actually cut... Can you see? Oh, gosh. Cut right there. Oh, my gosh. That was like butter. What the heck? Ah, it's like stuck. Okay, there we go. So, this is the cutting, and then there's a new leaf and two, like, sets of aerial roots. So, sorry, you get, like, my bathroom counter. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. It does fit. So, now... The 
roots are under the water. It looks cute. This leaf was a little sad. You can see it's kind of like sad, but hopefully this new leaf that comes out will be good. I was just going to show you my um, burl marks. And then I noticed, oh my gosh, hold on, I gotta flip this camera around. My lipstick plant, oh gosh, my lipstick plant bloomed. How cute is that? Um, yeah, just the one bloom. It's just two cuttings. But look how cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, anyways. Okay, so. This is the burl marks, the variegated burl marks. I just put out ooh, this leaf, which doesn't look variegated at all. I think it's just, can't really tell because it's like, still hasn't hardened off, but I don't think this one is variegated. And then there's this guy coming out too. Oh my gosh, I have to sneeze. Um... Wonky. But yeah, it's looking good. It's liking its home. It's not sad. And I like this, I like the pot combo. It kind of looks like a little tree. So cute. Um, okay, yeah. Oh my gosh, I just also noticed um, my variegated string of hearts is blooming. Let me show marks you. back underneath this and look. So alien looking, heart string hearts. Um, oh my gosh, I'm just literally noticing there's so many more too. But um, string of hearts blooms are so crazy looking. You can see, let's see, can you tell? Oh gosh, there's two right there, or three. Three right there too. It's not all the way up, but it seems like the ends are blooming. But oh my gosh, that's so cute. Got my little lipstick plant and my string of hearts going crazy. Now, if only I could get my mistletoe cactus to bloom again. It's looking kind of sad. Like, what the heck is this? That's falling off. I don't know. It was doing so good, and then... Yeah, it definitely needs to be like rinsed off, but maybe I'll do that in a sec. But yeah, like this piece fell off and then it just like, I left it in there and it um, grew roots. Oh yeah, it's filthy. There's so much like husky fur on it too. But yeah, I just want this guy to bloom again. Be so cute. Okay, I feel like that was kind of a chaotic, all over the place video, but that's like just kind of my mood right now. Um, I have my Gloriosum right here that I moved out of the way so that um, I could put my tripod there. This leaf looks like it's gonna come off soon. But the new leaf is looking cute still, cute as ever. Sorry, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm just all over the place and yeah. What the heck? Oh my gosh. There's freaking <laughs> dust and I mean spider webs and like husky fur all over me. But like I was literally just saying I wish this would bloom, but I just saw there's like a shriveled oh my gosh. There's a shriveled up. This was gonna be a bloom right here. It's dry. And then there was one right here. What the heck? So I need to like take better care of this guy. I literally got it like, I think it was like a two inch pot. And now it's doing really cute, but um, I need to pay more attention to this guy. He probably needs to be watered. No, he doesn't really need to be watered. He's still pretty like stiff I don't know maybe I'll give him a drink but I definitely need to rinse him off and pay closer attention to him so I can um oh my gosh 
I went home from work early today because I had a headache and I just didn't want to be there. And I also applied at another job and um, my head, it, my, I'm just, my brain's all over the place. So I'm very sorry about this. This video is like so chaotic and ridiculous, but those are the types of videos I like to watch. So hopefully you like to as well. Anyways, okay, I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, sorry if you didn't. This lighting is absolutely horrible. I look disgusting, but whatever. Okay. Anyways, bye. I'll see you later.